Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 1069. Hey, if you want to download this workbook 1069 to 1071, click on the link below the video. Hey, in this video, we want to talk about custom number formatting for inches. Now, I'm going to have a column where I put the number, and then we'll format it over here just so we can see the difference. All right, 1 divided by 3rd. I don't want to type 0 0.3333, so I'm going to put equals 1 third. This cell, Control-1 to open up Format Cells, Number tab, and we want Custom. Now, this is Fraction, because we want 1 third, so I'm going to use Fraction Number Formatting, Question Mark, Slash, Question Mark. No, that's a forward slash, right? And those question marks mean I'm only showing a single digit in the numerator and denominator. But watch this. I'm going to use Backslash. That backslash says, whatever character comes next, please display it. And it only allows a single character. So there it is, double quote. We can see it up there. Click OK. Now that's the way to go if you want the double quotes. Occasionally, you'll see this. Now let me actually do this one first. If you want to show inches, Control-1. Come down here. We still have to do question mark slash question mark. If you want to show text as a number format, and you got to put it in double quotes. So I'm going to double quote space and then I N for inch. Anything you put in double quotes will show up as part of the number format. Inch is not in the cell. It's just the number. So you can use that on calculations. Now, just to show you that occasionally, people won't use backslash double quote, even though that's the most efficient way. It's two clicks of your uh, keypad, Control-1. Occasionally, you'll see this, question mark, slash, question mark, double quote. Now, if you put double quote, double quote, double quote, that means three double quotes. Notice we don't get anything. It's not understanding it. So you could trick it with an apostrophe, an apostrophe, and then a double quote. All right, that's just to show you that you might see that. I put some spaces here. Those spaces aren't really there. It's double quote, single, single, double. Now. Of course, we could do 2.5 as inches, right? And we're going to use Control-1, Custom. And then down here, 0.0. .0. That 0, .0 will show one decimal. And then forward slash, double quote. There it is. Click OK. 3, I'm going to cheat and do 2 plus 1 divided by 3. That will give me that lots of repeating 3's. Control-1. Here we have to use mixed number custom number formatting. So I'm going to use pound, space, single question mark, slash question mark, and then backslash, double quote. I love it, two and a third. If I were to change this to two and a fifth, no problem. That will obey. Control Z. Now, these next two formulas, I'm going to go equals 12 divided by 64. Control Enter to populate those both in here. Control-1 if we use custom number formatting, again, for fractions. But now we want two positions showing in the numerator and denominator. Two question marks slash two question marks. But notice it reduces, which is no problem if you like it reduced. If you don't want it reduced, Control-1. Come down here. Well, what are we going to have to do? I'm going to use the same exact one, except for we have to hard code the 64 in. Now, this is typical hard coding. It is going to always show 64 in the denominator. So if you change this calculation, uh, it'll show 64 no matter what, even if the displayed fraction is different than the underlying number. All right, that's a bunch of cool custom number formatting for inches. We'll see you next video.